God. We hurt so much. <laughs> My dearest Isaiah, you were taken too soon. We are angry. <laughs> there, are, there are no more good mornings from you. There are no good mornings without you in this world. Son, a piece of my beautiful world is gone. And I, we do not know how we are supposed to carry on without you. This is not the McDonald's playground. You have not fallen and knocked the wind out of yourself. You're not playing. Mama's red lipstick is not all over your face. Your dad is not shocked because I am overprotective mom. We are not laughing because I'm exaggerating. Your brother's not running in circles wondering why mom has lost her breath and dad is shaking his head. No, my baby boy, <laughs> we got the call. Isaiah, your calmness kept us secure. You were a man of few words, but through heartfelt action, those few words moved us. <laughs> And your acts came from a precious and honest heart. And today I know you would tell us to relax and then you would double assure your mama that everything would be all right. The last day I saw you was Christmas Eve. I was frenzied because my car was acting up. You simply told me not to worry. Then you showed me, showed up in my, in a black Ford Mustang and drove us. You brought me a Dr. Pepper and you made me laugh when you mixed it with a special banana spirit. <laughs> I always felt so special with you, son. You always knew how to take the edge off and carry on. God, please grant us the serenity and courage to do right. For Isaiah, his sacrifice will not be in vain. We will be your voice, son. We will work tirelessly to protect your brothers and sisters in uniform and the people they serve. Your precious and honest heart will live on. Isaiah, we share with you with human wish. <laughs> okay. Isaiah, we cherish you humility. You never wanted the spotlight. You dislike the tension and drama, angel baby. Have you seen the red and blue lights that have covered the roads in Southern California for you? Please look, this is how much you meant to your brothers and sisters. Your tributes and honors are well deserved. Are broken. They too admire your service and respect in your sacrifice. Mama knows because we saw the cars that pulled over to bow their heads and pray. We saw the people run down their streets to hold a cross as your body made its way through your beloved Jerupa Valley. <laughs> One last time. We know because they brought their horses to salute you, son. 
We know because we witnessed their tears. They did not want you to die alone. They appreciated you. They knew you were a fine deputy. They do not accept failures of our legal system, the demeaning of your profession, nor the loss of your social morals and God. I am so sorry, son. I say that your heart was one of a selfless service. You dedicated your life to protect and serve. You worked so hard to overcome hurdles that were never. Few knew what it took for you to earn that badge. Angel baby, I am so upset that I will never be able to rock your children to sleep in a baby blue Ford Mustang as I did for you. I say Adele is livid. He won't have a grandchild. I will avoid finishing to skip rocks. Fishing. Fishing. I'm sorry. You needed to be here, Isaiah, so your big brother could teach you the joys of fatherhood. Isaiah, do you remember the look on your nephew's face when they saw you over for Thanksgiving? We had to pick up their jaws as you rode, rode away on your mortar. They overjoyed as they admired their cool uncle, the Riverside Sheriff Mortar Deputy. You flashed your lights and giggled as you went over the intercom to give them an order. <laughs> like, I'll see you later, crybabies. <laughs> Baby boy. Did you see them fall apart this week when their innocence was depleted with the loss of their uncle? The boys needed you here for one more tickle, one more hug. You deserve to watch them grow up with the same happy your parents raised you and your brother. The boys did not deserve to learn about heroes and angels so soon. I say uh, your self selflessness. I say uh, your selflessness and determination will not be forgotten. You fought the good fight, my boy. We know it. We are so proud of you. On December 29, 2022, Sheriff Deputy Isaiah Albert Cordero was murdered in the line of duty. <laughs> it is the last death of said calendar year. <clears throat> the documented end of watch cause gunfire. The actual cause of death, disdain, disrespect, disregard, and dysfunctional system that has unfairly been politicalized. I say we will never know the extent of the evil your traffic stop prevented. You never asked for heroism, but we promise you that God's grace, your name will always be a tribute to the heartfelt action. I say, uh, two weeks ago, as you rolled through the streets in your Mustang, you told Mama you were not sure if you wanted to remain in California because the cost of living here professionally and economically had turned so poorly. Law enforcement had changed. Things did not look right. Criminals care for more than law enforcement officers. 
Perhaps the donor, you told mama, baby boy, may the streets of heaven bring you the joy you lost here and the dazzle you like in Sedona. Family, friends, community members, please do not let this murder simply go down as another new story. Leads, because it is so heartbreaking. Let us find our way back to God. Listen, learn, and participate in your local government. This is where change is instrumental. This is where we can once again begin to secure our streets and preserve life. To Isaiah's brothers and sisters, your back up is coming. Complacency, Complacency is no longer an option for our community, our state, our nation. We are done with the statistics and virtual signaling. We cannot afford to stand down in silence. We will act with the same intensity you did for Isaiah. Sheriff Shad, my uncle. Your leadership should not be the exception in law enforcement. It must be standard. Thank you for illustrating this over the past week. It has brought great confidence and hope to our family. Judge Cara Hudson, my family is devastated. My son was a good man. My family, I say, brothers and sisters, and his community demand your resignation. to go on your Mustang drive in heaven now. We hope Snoopy and Grandpa were happy to meet with you again. We got the watch. Thank you.